Fan speed, how fast the fan impeller rotates, is a key factor affecting fan performance. As you can see from this typical performance fan curve, as the speed increases, the fan is able to deliver more airflow and develop more pressure. The fan speed here is indicated as fan RPM or revolutions per minute. Understanding how to set or change fan speed for a belt drive is an essential part of ensuring proper fan performance. Let's see how this works. Most belt driven fans utilize motors that rotate at a nominal speed of 1750 RPM. Other motor speeds you may commonly see are 3450, 1140, 860, and 690 RPM motors. Motors, either single phase or three phase, and whether they are open drip proof, totally enclosed, or rated for hazard location, will have a nameplate with the motor RPM labeled. Each motor manufacturer's motor nameplate design is slightly different, so take some time to locate the RPM for the motor on your fan. Here we have a belt-driven fan with a variable speed drive set, also commonly referred to as a variable pitch drive set. In this video, you will also see a device referred to as a belt tensioner. As we said, the most common motor speed applied to belt-driven fans is 1750, but the required fan speed to deliver the specified performance is almost always different than the motor speed. To achieve a fan speed other than the motor speed, belt-driven fans use a combination of different pulley or shiv diameters on the motor and fan shafts to increase or decrease the fan speed compared to the motor speed. If the motor pulley and fan pulley are the same diameter, the fan will operate at the motor speed. On this fan, the fan pulley is larger than the motor pulley. As you can see, for every revolution of the motor pulley, the fan pulley only rotates less than one half of a revolution so the fan shaft will rotate less than one half the motor speed. At this point, we need to talk safety. Before beginning to work on a fan, you will need to read and understand the manufacturer's installation and operation manual. Check with the manufacturer or manufacturer's rep to make sure that the fan and motor can operate safely at the desired new speed. Turn off the power to the fan motor before performing any work and take the proper steps to ensure the power cannot be turned on while the fan is being worked on. Now that we know how drives determine the fan rotating speed, let's see how to change the speed. This may be needed once the fan is installed to overcome additional system pressure. To change the speed of a belt-driven fan, we must first remove the belt. The fan shown has a belt tensioner. The belt tensioner extends the life of the belt by maintaining proper tension. It has the added benefit of making belt removal extremely easy. Simply push on the belt tensioner until the belt can be slipped over the fan and motor pulleys. Most fans provided with motors of less than 5 horsepower should be specified or ordered with a variable speed or variable pitch drive set. The pulley mounted on the motor, sometimes referred to as the drive shiv, is adjustable and provides an adjustment range of approximately 20% or more without needing to replace the pulley. To adjust the effective diameter of the pulley, Locate the set screw on the top of the pulley using the correct size hex key or Allen wrench. Loosen, but do not remove the set screw. To adjust the pulley, hold the bottom half of the pulley with one hand while turning the top half of the pulley. Do not force the pulley. If the top half of the pulley does not turn freely, then the shiv may be damaged and will need to be replaced. Turning the pulley clockwise closes the pulley, increasing its effective diameter and increasing the fan speed. Turning the pulley counterclockwise opens the pulley, decreasing the effective diameter and decreasing the fan speed. When setting the pulley, always turn the pulley clockwise until it's fully closed. From that point, turn it counterclockwise the appropriate number of turns to attain the proper speed. This setting is commonly referred to as the number of turns open. Once the desired setting is achieved, make sure the set screw lines up with the flat spot where there are not threads to interfere with the set screw. Tighten the set screw per manufacturer's recommendations, which can be found in the fan's installation and operation manual. Once this is completed, reinstall the belt. First, position the belt on the belt tensioner. Apply pressure to the tensioner and slip the belt over the fan and motor pulleys. Before running the unit, we must check belt alignment. When we change the effective diameter of the drive pulley, we also change the center line of the belt as it rides in that pulley. Now the belt is misaligned. Misalignment of the belt will cause increased belt wear, leading to premature failure of the belt. 
This also contributes to belt noise and additional horsepower required to turn the belt. For proper alignment, the center lines of the pulleys need to be in alignment. Aligning the tops of the pulleys will not ensure proper alignment and may compound the misalignment problem. To adjust the motor pulley for proper alignment, locate the set screws on the bottom side of the pulley. Some pulleys will only have one set screw, while others will have two set screws. Loosen, but do not remove the set screws. Raise or lower the pulley to achieve the proper belt alignment, visually checking that the centers of the pulleys are in alignment. Tighten the set screw per manufacturer's guidelines. Let's recap. Fan speed, how fast the fan impeller rotates, is a key factor affecting fan performance. Field adjustment of fan speed may be required to deliver proper fan performance. Always check for belt alignment after adjusting fan speed. Before working on a fan, always disconnect and lock out power in accordance with all recommended safety practices. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and watch for more videos. If you have suggestions about any subjects you would like to see covered, send them to marketing at laurencook.com.